children today i am going to start the civics lesson that is the union government state government and judiciary that lesson we are learning see children in india two types of government we are have two governments are there union government and state government union government means it is also called as central government union government it is also called as central government it is for whole india this government will do the administration it will rule all throughout the india state government means it is only for that particular state karnataka state government means it is only for karnataka tamil government means it is only for tamil nadu maharashtra government means it is only for maharashtra like that they are only for the state central government means it is for the whole india central government in the central government prime minister will be there and in the state government chief minister will be there we will go on studying that one it will be clear for you children so today i am taking the union government central government also it is called that one i am taking today children see the union of india See, what India consists of? No? That one it is called Union of India. It is called in the Union of India, twenty nine states are there. They are having twenty nine states and six union territories. Union islands and all of that. No? They are called union territories. They are outside India, but they belong to India. Follow Sumatra island and all is there. Their islands are belong to the India. So. They are called uh, Union territories. We call Union territory. Union territory means they are belongs to Union government, central government. Territory means place. I hope you understood the Union of India. India in the Union, Union of India, twenty nine states and six Union territories are there. Union Union territories means they are outside the India, but they are governed by the Union government. Next, I move to the Union Government. You know, Union Government. It is called Central Government. It is for throughout the India. This Union Government is having the three organs. How our body has many organs. All are essential. Same way, the Central Government is having the three important organs. All organs should function. Then only government will be successful. What are those three organs? First one is legislature. What does it make? It makes the laws. When you are doing the administration, is first you have to do the laws, rules and regulations you have to do. Once you uh, do the laws, means you have to implement it in the society. So next organ is executive. Okay, what it will do? It will implement the law. Implement the laws. Then third one, judiciary. When you are making law, implementing law, next someone has to watch them. All are following or not? That observing work also will be done. That work is done by the judiciary. That is protecting the law. Protecting. Peace and order, you can say. Yes. These are the three organs. These are their functions. Legislature make the law. Executive implement the law. Judiciary protect the peace and order. These are the works of the organs. This legislature means parliament. Union parliament. In that all ministers will be there. Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Prime Minister, Governor will be there. In the legislature. And next, I will tell the legislature only details. That just that we know the meaning of legislature now. Legislature means it is a parliament. In that all cabinet ministers, Lok Sabha members, Rajya Sabha members, Prime Minister and Governor will be there. Next comes executive. Executive means all the departments, all the cabinet ministers, all the uh, department heads, and prime minister will be there. Health department, education department, transport department, 
all the department and the department ministers that prime minister will be there in the executive follow next comes judicial judicial means all types of courts types of courts are there in the government so we are coming in this session only supreme court high court district court magistrate court lok adalat like this types of courts are there all courts will come in the judicial follow for today in detail we will learn the legislature take this point to know i will write about the legislature union legislature yes union legislature i wrote this union legislature it is already i said it is called as a parliament parliament also is called it is in new delhi chair or parliament is in new delhi the parliament consists of two houses lok sabha and rajya sabha then prime minister and vice president will be there in the parliament prime minister vice president lok sabha and rajya sabha this uh, parliament consists all these states now i go to the uh, lok sabha and rajya sabha chair first you may be clear the parliament has two houses one is lok sabha and one is rajya sabha see children both at the time i wrote will be clear uh, at the time i'm telling both means at first i have to write the difference between lok sabha and rajya sabha so uh, at one time uh, studying about both means you come to know that it is called lower house lok sabha is called as the lower house Rajya Sabha is called as the upper house. It is bicameral legislature, children. As it is having two houses, it is also called as the bicameral legislature. By means two, bicameral legislature, our parliament. It is lower house. It is upper house. And in the Lok Sabha, parliament is fifty two members will be there. Then in the Rajya Sabha, two fifty members will be there. Follow. Then these five fifty two all are elected by the citizens. In the MLA election, what uh, we are getting the votes now? From that only these mem MP elections, member of parliament MP means. So in that election, all are elected by the citizens. In this two fifty members, two thirty eight people are. Elected by the state assemblies. In the state also, the Dan Sabha will be there. From that, they are elected by. But twelve members are appointed by the president. President will appoint the twelve members. Who are those? Social reformers, social workers, teachers. All of that people are nominated. They are not elected. They are not contesting any election. They are nominated by the president. For example, Sachin Tendulkar is appointed as a MP for the Rajya Sabha by the President because by his gain and all India got some fame. He brought the glory for India because of this, this reason they made him as a member of the Rajya Sabha. Sachin Tendulkar, cricketer. Understood, children? Yes. For Lok Sabha, Speaker is the head. Speaker used to control the Lok Sabha. He used to discuss the things, what matters should be discussed, and what decisions should be taken. And maintaining the discipline of the Lok Sabha, all it is a duty of the speaker. He is the head of the Lok Sabha. For the Rajya Sabha, Vice President, Vice President will be the head of the Rajya Sabha. He will look after the Rajya Sabha. What decision to be taken? What matters to be discussed? All this depends on the vice president. Follow. Next comes the term of office. That means Lok Sabha is working for five years. Any any MLA is elected means he is elected for five years. Then for Rajya Sabha they are appointed or elected. For six years, after six years, they used to get retired. But this one, once in five years, they are getting the elections. So all members will get elected for five years. Soon after five years, all will get retirement. Again, the elections will be there. But in the Rajya Sabha, it is not like that. Who are coming in the six years, they will get retirement. And 
protegida por tu pelo y no guiar. Parliament is there, I will take it. Okay?